Kota Kinabalu International Airport KKIA, IATA, BKI, ICAO, WBKK, is an international airport in Kota Kinabalu, the state capital of Sabah, Malaysia. It is located approximately 8 km miles southwest of the city centre. In 2017, 8 million passengers passed through the airport, making it the second busiest airport in Malaysia after Kuala Lumpur International Airport. A medium-sized airport with good connections to most major aviation hubs across the Asia-Pacific region, the airport serves the city of Kota Kinabalu as well as the entire west coast of Sabah. History The airport began as a military airfield built by the Imperial Japanese Army during World War II. It was then known as Jesselton Airfield Kota Kinabalu was known as Jesselton at the time. Towards the end of the war, it suffered severe bombings by Allied forces. After the war, the Department of Civil Aviation DCA of North Borneo now Sabah took over the operation and maintenance of the airport. In 1957, the original grass strip runway was resurfaced with bitumen material and a new terminal was built. By 1959, the runway had been extended to 1,593 metres to enable the operation of Malayan Airways turboprop Viscount aircraft. In 1963, the runway was further reinforced and lengthened to 1,921 metres to cater for Comet 4 jet operations. Commercial flights and passenger arrivals gradually increased and a larger terminal building was needed. By 1967, Cathay Pacific Airways had begun operating a twice-weekly Convair 880 jet service between the airport and Hong Kong with an intermediate stop in Manila. In 1969, a British consultancy firm was appointed to formulate a master plan for a phased and organized development of KKIA over the next few decades. The master plan was submitted to the government with recommendations to Reinforce and extend the runway to 2,987 meters to cater for Boeing 707 and 747 jet operations. Build a new terminal complex and parallel taxiway connecting to the runway. Provide navigation equipment, communication facilities and a modern light system for the runway in the 1970s and 1980s. A new terminal building was built on the other side of the runway from the original terminal. Almost all commercial flights were shifted to this newer and larger terminal. Subsequently, the original terminal became known as the Airport Lama, Old Airport. In 1992, the DCA of Sabah was corporatized and Malaysia Airports Holdings Burhad took over the management and operations of the airport. A further expansion project for both terminals began in 2006, and in January 2007 the original terminal was rebranded Terminal 2 whilst the newer terminal became known as Terminal 1. Terminal 2 was closed on 1 December 2015 and all airlines shifted their operations to Terminal 1. There are plans to use Terminal 2 for cargo operations and general aviation. Expansion and renovation In mid-2005, the Malaysian federal government approved major renovation and refurbishment works to the main terminal, terminal 1, as well as a runway expansion project worth ERM 1.4 billion. The project saw the runway extended from 2,988 metres 9,803 feet to 3,780 metres 12,402 feet and the size of the main terminal increased from 34,000 square metres 370,000 square feet to 87,000 square metres 940,000 square feet. Terminal 1 can accommodate four Boeing 747s, one Airbus A330, seven Boeing 737s, three Fokker 50s and three Dorniers at any given time. It has 12 jetways for passenger use. The air traffic control tower, which had hitherto been attached to Terminal 1, was demolished and replaced by a standalone tower. Due to delays in upgrade works and disputes between the Department of Civil Aviation of Malaysia and the contractor responsible for the project, the runway extension and upgrading of the ILS instrument landing system was delayed to Q1 2014. As a result of this expansion, the airport is now able to accommodate the world's largest passenger aircraft, the Airbus A380. 
It has also become the second largest airport in Malaysia, with an annual capacity of 12 million passengers, 9 million for Terminal 1 and 3 million for Terminal 2. Generally, flights operating into and out of KKIA are serviced by narrow body aircraft. However, during school holiday seasons, airlines such as Malaysia Airlines may upgrade their flights to wide body aircraft, particularly the Airbus A330 300. Additionally, KKIA was the first airport in Malaysia to welcome the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, operated by Royal Brunei during several product introductory flights in November 2013. As to date, the largest aircraft to have utilized the airport are the Boeing 747-8 and B777-300ER. Airbus A350XWB Terminals Topic Terminal 1 Terminal 1 is the newer and the main terminal of KKIA It can be accessed via Jalan Kepayan Jalan Lintis and Jalan Pudatan located in the suburb or township of Kepayan the terminal is capable of handling 9 million passengers per annum and is equipped with the following facilities 64 check-in counters for international and domestic flights 2 baggage x-ray check-in machines and 5 hand luggage x-ray machines 3 for departures, 1 for VIPs and 1 for staff 36 immigration counters 16 for departures and 20 for arrivals 6 baggage carousels Three floors, ground floor, arrival hall, first floor, airline offices and local departures, second floor, check-in counters and domestic, foreign departures. Nine aerobridges. Seventeen aircraft parking bays capable of accommodating wide and narrow body aircraft. 1,400 car parking bays. The departure hall column head design is inspired by the waked basket design. A waked is, in Sabahan tradition, a symbol of preparing for a meaningful journey. Some ethnic patterns of the Rungus and Bajau ethnic groups are also incorporated into the design of the floor tiles. The first flight to depart at the new wing was MH2637 to Kuala Lumpur at 6.50 while the last flight at the old wing was at 0.25. Malaysia Airlines is the main operating airline in this terminal. <laughs> terminal 2 Terminal 2 was the original terminal building of the airport when it was first built. It is accessed via Jalan Mat Sala in Tanjung Aru and is located on the other side of the runway from Terminal 1. Terminal 2 served charter and low-cost carriers, the main airline utilizing the terminal being AirAsia. In 2006, Terminal 2 underwent a major renovation and extension to accommodate low-cost carriers, reopening on 1 January 2007 in conjunction with Visit Malaysia Year 2007. The works were completed 27 months ahead of schedule. It had 26 check-in counters for domestic and international flights and 6 parking bays for B737 and A320 aircraft as well as 7 luggage X-ray machines, a VIP room and 13 immigration counters. The terminal had the capacity to handle 3 million passengers annually, however, with limited expansion space and the congestion at Terminal 2, as well as to consolidate all airlines' operations in one terminal, airlines at Terminal 2 was ordered to move to Terminal 1. The decision was opposed by AirAsia, and the airline refused to move despite a government directive to do so, missing the deadline five times as of 1 August 2015. The issue was resolved when AirAsia agreed to move to Terminal 1 on 1 December 2015, and Terminal 2 was closed at midnight that day. The terminal will be converted for cargo, charter, VIP flights and general aviation use. The terminal currently serves for cargo operators such as Raya Airways and several general aviation companies such as Weststar and Liang Liang. Recently, during a state event with many VIPs in attendance, private jets on charter were moved to Terminal 2 to avoid congestion aircraft parking bays on Terminal 1. This includes a Boeing BBJ-2 and B7478I. Airlines and destinations Topic. Traffic and statistics <laughs> 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 
Topic: Traffic. Topic: Accidents and incidents. The 6th of June 1976, a chartered Saba Air aircraft carrying several government ministers crashed in nearby Sembulan upon descending towards the airport, killing 11 passengers, including the then Chief Minister of Saba Tun Fuad Stevens. Equals equals gallery.